and towards the A site. And <laughs> Spike down Hoodie. A. The man is very skilled. I'll say that. Very skilled he indeed. Is. Absolute beast, you could uh, say. Yeah, you, you could say that, Tom, but I I really wish you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are going to see the plant coming down. Now, Sender had been lurking through on the other side of the map, trying to sort of sneak his way into B, didn't really get anything for it, and now has left his team in a 4 versus 3 scenario. A decent retake opportunity here for G2, but they do have to get themselves back in here, and a lot of time is already being delayed. Yeah, I'm gonna say, you take a look at this fight for Kata. I wasn't having a lot of faith in it, but he's still able to get a double. The three versus two now comes of it, but G2 are trying to get their way back in towards this site. Both of these players so low, though. Nukia will only take the one bullet. Brams delivers headshot still. An advantage to it, but it was just a weird thing, you know, because you can't stand still on them unless you can sell the arrow. Bladestorm for somewhat trapped within the site and almost hoping that they kind of double back into this one. A peak coming out from Nukia as well gets absolutely nothing and it leaves Hoodie alone basically versus the full squad. And this rotation is still very, very slow. He needs to kill like four people here. He's gonna get the first at least, but here comes the Bladestorm dropping down Hoodie. Still That's able to deal with it. Some great legwork done there, and the Bladestorm eliminated, but now the rifles can be retrieved. Vitality can set up for what is now a little advantage with time on their side. I like the fact that they're also just grouping up on the site, but they've got to take this fight now or reposition pretty quickly. It looked like they almost Last set up an A main after plant. Maybe trying to bait in some of the players from Peking of Over though. He's brought it back into a 1v1, made it look possible, and he's gonna land the headshot as well. I will say, this is not exactly what you want facing off against a bone attainable from G2. With that plant coming, it's gonna take G2 a while to just group up at this stage. Four players coming in through dish as well. They're gonna have to make that drop. And with the amount of ground that Vitality have to cover, I guess they don't really have a lot of vision over it. And Mixwall's gonna make up for it by just dashing on in, taking the fight, but Kata wins it. Vitality have time on their side, but Hoodie is doing his best. They need to find a little bit of space. That Rolling Thunder is going to buy them some time. Diffuse it at least a halfway now. There's no other choice. The time is getting way too low. The spams to try and stop that Diffuse. And oh! that gets up with a double. It's almost Diffuse, but Sten Sender steps in to save the day. You can see that they have a clear plan coming in with the Sage, like giving them that after plan, being able to fall back, being able to delay on the retake. And so far, G2 have really struggled. And, and guess what? One, but it's just no one around. G2 are on the other side of the map, so Vitality are going to again have time to practice this comfortable setup. Cypher covering Dish and everybody else playing inside of main. Except for Kato who wants to you know, get a little bit uh, aggressive on that jet, but you can't really blame him. Yeah, now we, we've seen some pretty attacking sided halves for this map, so I, I'm not going to by any stretch start to count G2 out, but it is starting to get worrying just the fact that Vitality are, are not actually having to show oh no. any of their playbook. They are they're doing the same execution again and again. It's a clear One fact of what they're remain. attempting. Oh, uh, Mixwell on the jet, me, man. Mixwell? This guy. Oh, he's already he got line off. Oh, he has. And it's with the Guardian as well. I don't know if there was actually oh, enough time. It was going to be very close. Either seconds on the clock. They've still got the full squad online. And now they're even taking down Sender. He's caught towards left. the dish. Or sorry, towards B-Pain actually trying to pressure. Dish is where the push is coming in, and Kata has now, after being rezzed up, secured the site and a plant for Vitality. Bike. Ultimates being thrown in all at once, trying to clear this close angle, but Brams will hold for now. But there has been a trade elsewhere. Back is dropped by Mixwell, keeping us in a 3v3 scenario. Still, though, G2 have a lot to do. Meta wants to walk on into this Viper's pit. He's already cleared up close. It's a vague idea where this Viper is, but Brams has the advantage in that fight every single time, and Mixwell won't be able to make that 1v3 happen. Going with the idea of peeking into Arcade would be a big risk to take now. There's players confirmed to be here, and Nukia mows them down! Shadow and Kata are gone. This split is cut in half, and there's just one way for them to push. Vitality are red like a buck from this point forward, and G2 should be able to close out easily. Yeah, they want to try and keep this one nice and clean, and that's exactly positioned perfectly. They're ready to go on through the flash pops. He's off the angle, but he still has a dash. He might want to get greedy, go out there for a kill, but Vac is too quick. Yeah, it, it's like we never left. Like watching Vac in just qualifiers, like we've done it for so long. The man is just unbelievable, and, and it's just a play alongside the distraction. But Avova 
He's going to kill off the one man. The rest of the team didn't go through. The smoke holds them back. The Nebula leaves them in a bit of an awkward spot. And Hoodie, I don't know. That was a bold angle to try and fight for. And he's been punished for it. Oh, the info's still going to come through, but the player's a little bit too far away. And uh, you can see Nukia not going to have the easiest of time pushing through this Viper's Pit. I know he's here just to drop. I mean, there's, just, there's no way he wins this. He'd almost instantly be calling a save, but Nukia, well, he's a different man altogether. He'll drop down and take the you first. His health's about to reset on back up. He's avoiding the fight for now. The res punished a weapon for twice. Nukia no, goes no. earlier, and G2 take a fourth. Right, I'm done for the seal this series. On oh, this map, sorry. And now? I'm almost on the G2 train. Here's a flash to play in from G2 that gets a double opening. Salt in the wounds of vitality as they struggle to get any progress on this map. Oh, they even got the operator as well. The one two punch, the swing back in, back. It, it just hit everything. It has just been like those. Almost ridiculous retakes, and I, I think a lot of that comes down to well, firstly, just the unbelievable skill of the G2 side. But you have to say there've been some slip ups. Oh yeah, there's the Blade Storm. They still have a Rolling Thunder. This is going to be a tough round for Vitality, even if you accept the weaker weapons that they have in their hands. In some cases, a Flash ready to be popped out. Shadow wanting to give his teammates that little bit of entry. That that push into the site. The problem is, look at Meadow's cam. He's using this hiding from it. Once the flash goes off, he's just right down on the bottom of our screens there, hiding in the boxes. And they'll be able to pop up and fight those Heaven players as they walk on out. There's a player as well over towards the connector, who can easily see them coming out of Arcade. This is a really strong hold from G2. They are ready for a B play. so much map control. And yeah, they've pushed like, everything. They've got, it, they've got it all. And now Vitality are going to run into it. And get wrecked. Oh, dearie. Oh, do you say that? Already, Brams has managed to find the opener. Looking to try and clear out the site. It's unusual you push into the site with the Viper's Pit. Left. And well, that's somewhat the reason. New K hiding within it and even then just drops it down. Another player falling to this man and it's left all onto back. Three about inside of A main. They've left the spike behind. They're running in through the connector. I mean, this is this is a confusing pistol if ever I've seen one. G2 and pistols. Sender has just cut this and completely stopped the push. Meadow is left alone. He's about to be destroyed. Oh my god. The whole team comes around the corner. And now it's a 2v4. Honestly, I don't know what I've just witnessed. I, do, I don't know the plan behind the round, but they will get a plan. Right there. Yeah, it's what they can do from here. Of over in an advanced position, but you'd expect at this stage that Vitality are just going to group up and take this one together. Even if he manages to get a couple of kills, he's going to need his teammate to do exactly the same. And dashing through the first player. Okay. What? They've actually brought this back. It was looking impossible for Avova in that corner, but it doesn't matter. If in rounds, and we saw it from Kata, that man was able to pull back. So many situations that just like they're on a thrifty and he comes in with a 3k. Okay, Nukia catching Kata and back down below. It was looking like a firing squad from Vitality, but those weaker weapons not really paying off for them here in the bonus. Shadow gets two? I, I was expecting the first because of how low the nuke actually was, but again, like, a couple of kills in these sort of rounds really isn't bad, and now Sender has just sideswiped Meadow. He's actually going to get quite close to the site while he's planting. Doesn't manage to get the kill, but Brams has managed to still carry through that Spectre. A kill here isn't that unlikely, and now puts it into that one versus one. Now the Gravwell is going to be there in an attempt to just pull him straight off of that spike, and that's exactly what Brams expects. Now he can actually just start defusing. And this is where Avova actually has to move. And Brams is expecting him forward. And he's going to clutch it out once again. Vitality, we've spoken about how close so many out here. Because if they do, then it, it doesn't really matter all the compliments. We've been giving them Vitality in a lot of trouble. Mixwell somehow avoids that opening off shot. And he's able to take down Vac because of it. The side is seized. Another uh -oh. shot missed for Kata. And just as we sing the man's praises, he lets a big play slip. Even G2 site control on a plant. Sort of after plant that we see that the norm almost, and especially when you have that Astro available to you, it can become that little bit more difficult. Now, Meadow's position is going to be revealed. Now, you can definitely wall bang in that position, so he has to fall back. Mixwell holding the site, and there he goes! 
the utility goes <gasps> Oh no! As the utility goes down, right vitality starts to come in. That's when Mixwell is the highest chance of finding someone. Pistol comes out. Opportunity missed. Vitality now starts to creep in. Move towards this B site and things can get a little bit crazy here. With Kata already sneaking in for a double vandal in hand he's on the site looking for mix while there's only 10 seconds left g2 need to pick up the pace and get into the site but no there's no opportunity anymore it's time to run away they're not really able to get in the amount of utility the amount of players the fast rotation there's still players here and hoping that they assume that this was supposed to be a passive play instead cat is coming out for a double and vitality punished g2 leaving them now with the spike completely isolated avova has to try and take this somewhere and it looks like he's going to go down the ropes but brown is just coming around and they're going to try to catch him but it looks like avova has made it out scot-free the problem is they're still losing players elsewhere on the map. UK is actually going to lock down the middle, but I don't think he realizes the Kata is just tucked in. And while that Viper's Pit doesn't last long at all, of over, left alone, he has no clue that Kata's just been waiting here the entire... <laughs> Little elevator. on any of them. <laughs> yeah. The wall bang with the Odin for six floors. Cat has already taken down Mixwell. The Battle of the Jets going towards the younger of the two, but G2 answer back very quickly indeed. Nukia has already gotten a double, but Vitality aren't letting it slip just yet. They'll keep on fighting, and they get the spike. That's up That's on drop as well. That's such an awful spot. It's so bad, and he's got a cage. So if they want to try and get back up there, it's just going to make things so much more awkward. They've given them, they've almost given him a smoke, but I guess it does give them a little bit of space. Left. But they don't actually know where Shadow's going to be peeking from. He gets the timing correct, and then Sender's there for the trade. Beautifully played. <laughs> You're almost willing, Nukia, to pull off another unbelievable clutch. Meadow. Oh, okay. He's actually found a lot of them within that poison orb. It's an aggressive push coming through for Vitality. It doesn't work out at all. I think they've just caught a glimmer of the barrel. They know Sander's saving, but only now do they start to leave the site. Perfect timing by Sander as he arrives. And it will catch him on the way out. Oh, here we go. Shadow, he's heard a lot of footsteps. They've taken a lot of control, and you know what? A stray bullet into the face of Avova is not a bad way to kick things off. This round alone could be enough to close out the map for Vitality. Mixwell still in position. Decent flash, but he gets nothing from it and goes walking straight into the hands of Kata. A decent trade from Hoodie, but there's still a lot left to do. Yeah, it's a tough one to close out. I know exactly. If you're G2 right now, bring yourself 12 to 11. Kata's going all the way into drop, and Meta was waiting. Now they're on the site. Plant is going to be found. G2 kind of flipped the tables here, especially with that Viper's Pit down. I feel like Vitality. Look, they've got a Viper's Pit of their own. There could be something to that. Keep an eye on what Browns is going to do. If they even find a pick as well. Yeah, oh no, that's ult. That's going to be Viper spotted inside the ultimate Nukia. Dancing around for a little bit. When does the Neural Theft come in? Sender's not going to use it. Give, give me a corpse. Oh, he's trying now. But he's it's a little, he's trying to find it, but gets nothing. New case picked off another. And while he's, it's going to be revealed, but he's got enough space that it really doesn't matter anymore. Sender needing to find both these kills incredibly quick. And put out of the bag when they need it the most. I do have a slight question as to what Kada was doing. Control. Because as I said, if you're going to try and gamble on that side, it's going to be tough. The worry, though, look how many players are gathering in this direction. It's going to be a spray down. Actually, Avova taking the win. But do they expect Shadow to be here? They should. I think there was a pop flash just moments ago, mm -hmm. and they check their angles well. It leaves it? Sender on the site. Now, this might be a surprise left. because four players stacking, stacking up. It's going to be tough to read. He's already managed one, and a couple of them are actually tagged fairly low, but of over again. Drops it down to just one man. Brands to clutch. I mean, I thought I was joking when I said the OT, but apparently it was a real thing. Down to a one versus two. Both players super low in HP. Brams can definitely take this across the line. That smoke, if anything, might actually hurt them. No, it's actually perfect. Even a pull on the other side to try and catch Brams off. He walks into a crossfire. The first is found. It's down to the 1v1. Hoodie wasn't able to drop him. And he oh! Brams. Oh, there's only one oh thing God. I can say this to that. A beast. Portation nodes called. Oh, you mean the the rendezvous? There we go, good man. Actually, looking to take a lot of the early battles, it seems he has. He's placed a lot of his utility down already. 
I won't. And again, these sort of bait and switch plays that have come through from Vitality, they seem to be so strong at the moment on this attacking side and the attacking calling. And you can see Mano had no idea that they were this far up. That sort of investment coming out from um, Spike planted. from Sender in the early round, sorry, is, is kind of interesting. Because um, he's going for, in a pistol round, both of his traps the cover off really really like the idea of playing with those little uh, traps towards either side of um either side of your spawn making sure you can playbook in terms of the defaults and then the utility placement that they're going to have to then allow them to flex into uh, all these other positions and that anchor now placed allows sender to play so damn aggressive not only can you basically run and shoot with this pistol anyways and one shot head against uh, spectres you want to play let's play Oh dear. Oh, I was about to say, he's got that out very, very early on. The amount of kills that he's already managed to gather up, but it doesn't matter. It's been removed, and I feel like a lot of the danger in this round should have gone with it, but Brams again! He switched up his agent, but he's still able to just pull off ridiculous left. amounts with the Spectre. Two kills already. As you can see them tucked in on short, it looks like time is on their side. They're only hard for their opposition to deal with. Buddy, this is a strong oh, peak, oh, and he's gonna come out with two kills. A decent trade for what was one of the rifles they had, and that's dirty. A perfectly timed dismiss from back. He's gonna take quite a lot of damage though in this corner, and they also have the drone to tag him up, so he's not gonna escape. Um, are you sure about oh, that? He's out of here. That is he shouldn't clean. have been able to escape. Sender has picked up another, leaving it down into a two versus one with a kill from Brams of Ova trapped in a corner. Scythe utility there as well, so there's not going to be much space that Vitality can garner without the defensive side knowing, but it is becoming quite awkward for Mixor. And again, they have, well, I was going to say they control that they gained. Mm, it could be okay in some scenarios, but now Seelong can be pushed. Now they could be out have to send someone back. It happened to be Silva with the spike who just peeked mid, which kind of concerns me a lot. And these players are running straight through a fault line, but Bram's made it ahead of it. And he's managed to take down Hoodie. This is an opportunity for Vitality, a potential foothold to build on. Nuke is close, though, and he just mows them down. Deciding to go down mid. In fact, three players are pushing G2, bringing the fight right up into Vitality's turf, and Sender will be... They're just sticking around, just sneaking their way through, and sure, they've got that utility to try and force players out of the back of the site, but they might not left. expect this close corner to have Nuke in it. No, they have absolutely no idea. He just sat here, waiting for this push to come through, staying alive in positions where realistically he should have been cleared, and now the time ticking down, the full rotation coming through, the hold looking stellar from G2. Now, full mind of pushing together. Grab well to slow and split the rest of the team, but Vitality go back. Brams able to drop the one, tries to link up with the squad on C. Although he'll be dropped, he does delay them long enough. But there's no one from G2 here by the time Vitality walk onto the site. They will have a free plant. The Hunter's Fury activated, but it's Hoodie that falls. Oh, this is not the round again. It, it always seems to happen with these pistols. It just gets dangerous and it's slipping away from G2. Only Nuke left, and well, he's looking to try and attempt another worldie of a clutch. We're going to be peeking into it, but this time they play it together. May opener here. Well, he's going to be forced off the angle by the drone. Also, Vova's utility, but what? Well, it's in the name, I guess. We should sort of expect it at this point, but that is a, a little bit unlucky on the side of G2. But they might get one back in return. But he gets the perfect oh. time. Free up. Oh, cool. it's sneaking up. The timing here for Sender. This is a sentinel player if ever I've seen one. He is on C site, but his teammates have no idea the players are inside a garage and walking out only now. The Spectre, not good for the oh, kill. Stop the info play by back, but he doesn't expect Nukia to just keep on running at him. Oh, 1v3 now for Sender. He has his head hunter. And of course, it's still de force. Ready. Stop. He has to find some headshots, has to find some quick kills, and it is just not Come up, Keith. Yeah, he's, he's not too bad, you know. I haven't worked with Kata in the past, I can say. Decent jet. Pretty, uh, pretty alright. Good night. Sweet. Dreams of Ova's being dropped by the Hunter's Fury. Kata, moving towards the backside, just spotted one or two in the spawn. And <laughs> we know Kata. He wants to... Oh! oh! Now he maybe doesn't want to get aggressive. With center already falling, but never mind, it's Caddy goes out, Mixwell punishes him. Vitality, 
Even going to use up their Cosmic Divide to try and make it a little bit more difficult for this entry to come through. The drone buys a little bit of open space. Nixwell now start to push out. Again, the control checks back as well, just in case there was something funky going on behind that wall. They can even start this defuse and just have the operator hold it. This is where Brahms has to come in big, and he has the angle, but the shot's not going to connect. Time is a big issue here. Gravwell in play. It's not going to be used to pull them off just yet. In fact, the defuse is already almost done. Time is definitely going to be an issue. Shadow pushing up just in time to get around the corner, but he won't land the shot. Hoodie getting away with the defuse for four rounds. For I have got quite a lot of space here. There's only one player on this site, and sure, Meadow's just going to look to try and lock it down, but they need to get a rotation in fairly quick. New is going to be in to support, and that time has been bought. I, I was thinking that maybe Meadow would come under some serious pressure, but he's done a decent job at least to slow them down. And again, with Sender lurking on the other side of the map, not really getting anything. They can now pull in this rotation. Yukio goes aggressive and will kill off another. They've still got to clear this backside player. They know he's here, but if they don't get rid of him, it gives more players opportunities to rotate in. Meadow's had a really tough game so far. This Rolling Thunder might help him out, but Brams avoided it and will come out with a double. They thought the whole team was caught and about to be punished, and in the end, it ends up with just Mixwell grab so weld into a smoke for six. Oh my Again, they've, wife. they've somewhat left this down to just one man. A stinger alone versus four players. If he even gets a kill here, I call this a success, <laughs> and it's not going to happen. Left completely blind. He does give some room to Hoodie, but it, it's 1v1s, and this time, well, it's not going to work out. A repeat coming in from Avova, hoping to try and make some space if New Kid uses the ultimate, the Hunter's Fury, to try and clear them out from planting. But again, I'm, I'm curious to see how it works out, because... I It'll always be... a a debate really though when you look at how they're oh my god what a fight for sander on one side of the map completely rotate over to the other they've done this quite regular stop early aggression after that point they don't really need it anymore and mixwell he's spotted ahead unfortunately they haven't spotted out brams again he's gonna come in with an impactful double kill even gets an you there was nothing meadow could do in these fights when he was solo holding a site he died that is the summary of it. Look at this rotation for Sender. This is what I mean as well by playing a little bit slower because you can he can TP from where he is all the way over to the B site, essentially. Like, okay, you've rotated all of your players right in towards there. A. We're gonna start falling back and actually just holding, waiting for the aggression. Sender is gonna spot them out, but back. look at this crossfire! It's so filthy, especially with a frenzy up that close. It's all but uh I think if PX even for Kata, and, and Kata has always been super there. But that's that one man not dropping the ball is good old Brahms. Really carrying the team through some of these fights. Vitality currently at 8-5, to five, but it's looking likely G2 take this one. Time is definitely on their side. Vitality realized that. I think they're just going to try to kill them as they leave the site. Yeah, or just hold them in, try and get them to go down to the spike, get rid of some of that weaponry and make them make their like, investment round a little bit easier versus the bonus. But shutting down a couple of players along the way, really not bad at all. All the way down middle through garage and mid window. They now have a very early flank on the way. Sander stunned up close and wall bang, but he TPs out up on top of the boxes <laughs> and they are more than ready with Meadow dropping him. And it's now the man advantage swinging to the attackers. Nukia is just going, running it down alongside Mixwell. I mean, those specters are not supposed to find that much damage. And now, it looks like Vitality, they're just being destroyed. What well, would have been inc an incredible amount of damage purely because he was vulnerable as well at that time from the grab well. Drone gets them control, or so they thought, but now Vak is here, and Kata, look, Vak is baiting for him. He's just spraying on these corners, now making a lot of steps back, hoping they would peek into the op of Kata, but they never do. And now a Hunter's Fury blindly thrown through, will find nothing back out of there with another. In fact, it looks like he wants to get aggressive, but what? Incredible round from Vitality. I mean, really, just no, uh, no flaws. <laughs> That's why they call it up. It's almost oh. become disrespect. Wow, well, you mentioned that fadeaway. It, it doesn't work every time. Sometimes you're going to get caught, and they've got to be careful as it's new. Look at G2 wanting to get into this A site with a full stacked up vitality, but Kata is the point man. The dash online, 
And it looks like we might have a Jet versus Jet fight. The Blade Storm is activated. There's the shot. Kata catches Mixwell, even through the smoke. The reveal is doing well to show back in the corner, but Kata's dancing around the Cloud Burst and taking them down one by one, leaving Meadow to one v were heard. All the information is there for Meadow to play with, but what do you do? This is patient play for Vitality as they wait for Kata to take contact, and even if he missed, he probably... 30 seconds like you, you can't allow for that to happen and again just look how much control they're taking and this is the 1v1 this time it goes and you can see they're stalling it out they're slowing it and here's the peak from kata mixwell will be caught again punish time after still being aggressed elsewhere they're trying to spot if anybody has gone pushing through now there's going to be at least a little bit of information that they've been lost and brams just then goes aggressive through once again the shock dart doing at least a little bit of damage they do get the spike down on a Meadow has to try to pull them off this diffuse. At first, it's going to be the grav well that does it, so no need for him to peek. But now, there we go. Evolva's coming around the side. They'll pull them off the diffuse and even take the fourth kill down mid here. But drone scares him away. He realizes it's on a long, and now around he comes right into Mixwell's all. But that shot is not going to land. There's not enough cup spam in the chat to keep the spike planted. Yeah, with the low HP on. Both your Jet and your Sova. This is one that's definitely needed to be approached in a very cautious manner. Shock Dart's going out. Meadow runs around into the Operator of Sender. And it looks like G2 are a little eager to get into this fight. They went running at their opponents. And they have been taken down with Avova standing alone now. 1v3. And he is dealt with quickly. 11 rounds for Vite. They managed to deliver on Fracture even despite that. Whoopsie daisies. Cat is in a little bit of trouble here, taking off the angle. Sanders kind of left out alone, but he'll mow them down and get out alive. That is ridiculous. Vitality will play retake, but they've got a 5v3, so there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> they've got to check everything. They, they don't even know where he went or if there's anyone else still within the site, but this is a, a horrible position to be in. You've lost it to a player that you can't even train, and Sanders just feeling it at the moment. Goes all the way through to take four kills in the right now. Kata again going to be tanking up that early grab okay. well, but Mixwell finally has the They've been cups. spamming. He's They've been spamming. He has been woke. I think they're favored to take it across the line to OT now. Big play needed by Vitality, and that's exactly how you want to start it. This isn't going to be it. Rams as well. We know how clutch he was to close out the last map. He's still going to be holding around exactly these angles. Will they expect the second person? They will now. Neural Theft and UK is waiting in the window. A couple of free kills. Finally, Vitality punished for this aggression. They will, however, have Shadow hit. Two players on low HP. Shadow has an opportunity. A recon to play with. Not likely to use it instead. He wants to oh, catch these guys off horrible. guard. But look how long it's been. He's been blinded up. He's now being revealed and wall banged to death by a Vova. There's the shot for Vac. He'll get out of there with his life, and the Blade Storm of Kata will look for a victim. A Vova still just needs one hit to fall. And this could be a recoverable position then. Kata out into the open. He'll fall, and the trade is not there. 12 to. And this one. Well, I'm down for a third map. Let's see if we get there. Mixwell with the op. He sees the shoulder and takes Sender down. Looking to try and find something through the edge, but doesn't really need to take too much of a risk. They've already got themselves the opener, and we know that this B-site after plant has always been the more vulnerable of the two. The funny thing as well is, Brams might have thought that he was sneaking his way into the C-site. In fact, he walks into three players, and Avova is just there to shut it down. Vac! Oh! He's just a oh. escape! How does he get away with that? Another kill! Looks to try and clear out the backside. Meadow has his cam activated. He's had a quiet game. He needs to get something done here. Can't go down without anything and a kill onto Shadow. Might just be enough. In fact, he'll find back as well. Coming up when they needed him. Piece of utility. Used in so many different ways, but for now, you can only hope it's going to be used to rotate back. Because these players are starting to push into the A site. G2 now with a man disadvantage. The round that they need to win to take this across the line. Oh, no. Very poorly timed, and Shadow will be punished. Did they expect Kata to be here? Well, they did, but he still manages to find the kill, and Senders returned back through to back up his teammate on A. This almost needs to be a little bit more aggressive from G2. They're going to try and take a bit more map control, but they have to watch out for back. He's ready and waiting, and, well, Hoodie, he's got a hell of a job to do. Had a fantastic map so far. First kill goes his way. With a couple more to find, they know exactly where he is. Look to try and play this one together. The Leer's making it awkward. 
And while a well-timed peek from the remaining players, this one keeps going. But someone's going to try and take this peek. The flash behind it is superb, but Hoodie goes down and then Cat is there to trade. This is the A site open. They've got the spike alongside it. Avova is rotating in, but they know he's here because of the Leer and then the wraparound alongside Vax peek. Again, the timing of Vitality, or more importantly, the timing of this double duelist with their peaks has been fantastic, and there was no way that he gets any more than one kill. One enemy remaining. Absolutely clinical. One shot dashed out of there. Mixwell's body hadn't even hit the floor. As Vac falls, it's still a little bit too much for Nuki to deal with, you have to imagine. He's going to drop out of heaven, there's two players here, and the time is not on his side. We've seen this man clutch it out before, but it's time. Oh god. It has been a decent resurgence as well. Like, you have to remember, there was a point where Kata was, what, on like two kills in the first half of this game? He's now 16 yep. and 16. He was He's on definitely two kills. leveled up. I think both Jets have. Kata was on the two kills. On the push is about to come out. There should be a flash here. They're waiting for Breach. And that's going to be Sander. But, oh, no, no flash! Oh, that's a free kill! And now they've got to be ready for back up oh, in the corner, and they're no. not! He gets one, two! And now he's just going to be able to fade on out of there! He'll still fight Hoodie, because why not? It's a 4v2, and your op is covering you. The spike is down in the open. This round is well and truly in vitality hands. G2 have basically no shot with Hoodie alone on long, and soon to face defeat vitality. 30 seconds left. They really have done it this time in a shock dart to close it out 15 to 